How about five James T? And yes, we are fortunate enough to get wonderful people to stop by. And when you talk about producing, when you talk about oh my, the filming, music, all of this, you got to think about how does Disney go about getting all of this into a production that makes you feel that this is a must be a part of event. John, how are you today? I am well, and I'm thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled to finally be sharing the world of Pandora oh for you and, and guests. That, that's, that's the best part. I, I've been explaining to everyone that what's so amazing about this is that you go away with so many different feelings. The feeling of, wow, are we really doing enough to preserve our world? Wow, is there so much more to be discovered that we have yet to discover? As smart as we think we are. Isn't that something? That you made my day when you said you feel so much, because that was the goal here. Other things where you can't go to and feel something. You can experience a ride and it leaves it. You leave it at the theme park. But here with Pandora, we want people to walk away and look at our world differently. Wow, that, whoa, that, that's that moment. As Oprah would say, that's one of those moments. But, and, and I did, because of the fact that when we change how we feel, how we th think, it also changes our action. All of a sudden we see caring and planting. We see preserving. We see, uh, wait a minute, uh, are what we're about to do for economic growth or wealth, is that going to damage our lifestyle or our future, or the, or the future for our kids? You guys have done great. Well, you said the kids. The kids are our future. And kids can come here and they can be inspired, whether it's to go into science, whether it's to go plant that plant in front of their garden, whatever it is, we have a chance to make an impact with a theme park. And that's amazing. What one thought would you leave with a person who is saying, wow, this sounds exciting and I want to come? What one thought would you want to give to that person that visits Pandora and just realize, well, we can't realize, because there's no way you can realize all the work that went into it, but at least the desire of the vision that you want to give them. You know, I, I think that this is truly the ultimate fantasy escape. We, we turn to entertainment, we turn to theme parks to get away from the world we are in. And this is a place where you can come to and you can spend a whole day here with a 360 degree experience. When you look up in the sky, you're not in Orlando. Those floating, floating mountains tell you that you are on Pandora. And that people will walk away inspired to go make a difference. Woo! We want you to do that. We want you to visit. We want you to come. We want you to come and experience. It will change how you feel. It will change how you think. It will change how you act from now on because I think you're going to see our world different when we compare our world to the land of Canada. You have made my day because you named all of our goals. <laughs> hey man, much love to you, John. Right back at Thank you. Hey, and uh, we'll see you in the Keys. All right, we'll be down there. We live there. We love it. We love Miami. They're our home city. And, uh, go for it. Hot 105, 50 minutes of today's R&B and old school.